I'm looking at a chart of the Dow Jones uh, to the gold uh, ratio over the last uh, hundred or so years and especially at what happened the last time we had a uh, COVID I guess 18 of the 20th century right uh, and um, it was followed by a lot of stimulus and then the roaring 20s right in the 21st century we had the roaring teens followed by the pandemic right we had the exact opposite of what we had there right and uh, but we had a lot of stimulus already before then right to come off of the uh, the uh, great recession we never really stopped the stimulus even after uh, 2008 and the, the Dow to gold ratio uh, fell to a local minimum in August of 2011 uh, gold was about two thousand dollars an ounce and even if we uh, if we assume the same ratio of, of, of uh, drop uh, gold would be well it went from 20 to 35 right after the roaring 20s it would have to go from 2000 to 3500 and the ratio dropped by the same amount right this is a logarithmic chart right so same ratios would be the same uh, height right so we would see about a four to one ratio between the Dow and the gold so you could expect Dow to be about 14,000, which kind of makes sense, right? Because the Dow was about that over here, right? Similarly, the Dow was relatively flat during this, uh, after the Great Depression, right? So, uh, but then you got to remember that we've done a lot of printing, um, a, a lot more money printing during this time than we did uh, following the uh, pandemic of the 1900s. So uh, I'll let you figure out how much money we printed last time versus how much we printed this time. But the, uh, to make a long story short, gold has yet to done all the catching up, even if it just wants to maintain the same ratio as it did last time, right? And keep in mind, this time around, a lot of people around the world are buying gold, not just Americans.